hello everyone today we are discussing about antacids the antacid which is helpful in digestion for breakdown of food with the help of stomach acids within ph range 1.5 to 3.5 and antacids are defined as a substance that react with acid in stomach which helps to neutralize the acid content to your stomach these are mainly of weak bases and it only neutralizes the gastric acids what are the antacids antacids are a class of medicine which help to neutralize the acid content of your stomach also which includes aluminum hydroxide magnesium carbonate and magnesium tricyclic this come in various different brand names and are available as tablet and liquids also so antacids are combined with another medicines called as semethicone then what are the different causes for excess release of acid in stomach alcohol consumption then eating of certain foods and anxiety smoking certain drugs like aspirin and stress what are the results in excessive release of hcl in stomach heart burn then ulcer and stomach indigestions then what is the mechanism of action of antacids generally a reduction of pain associated with with acid related disorders allowing the mus mucus layer in the stomach lining to heal then treat ulcer by preventing the stomach acids from attacking the stomach lining allowing it to heal then neutralizes the acidity by increasing the ph of a gastric from 1.2 to 1.6 generally these are the some ideal characteristics should not absorbable and not and can cause a systemic alkalosis should not liberate carbon dioxide should not interfere with the absorption of food should not be laxative or cause a constipation should be quick acting and exert their effect over a long period of time should buffer in the ph range 4 to 6 should probably in with the pepsin and should be an expensive generally the antacids are available in capsule tablets powders chewable tablets and suspension the two types of antacids sodium bicarbonate calcium salt aluminum salt magnesium antacid and alginate salt with the antiflatulents then the antacids having several kinds of side effects like loss of loss of appetite muscle weakness constipation produce a significant amount of carbon dioxide gas of uh, people often bleach then can cause a metabolic alkalosis for aluminum containing antacids or calcium containing antacids or sodium bicarbonate containing antacids then may form uh, produce a constipation like produce a gas and bleaching may result in kidney stones and diarrhea and loss of appetites who cannot take a antacids in case of patient who having any kidney disease or kidney failure or heart disease in case that sodium bicarbonate uh, cannot con- uh, administered having a high sodium content then in case of pregnancy in uh, do not use that antacids for having a heart burn but do not use antacids that having sodium bicarbonate uh, then problem with the liver or kidney in case of that should be careful using antacids those uh, may f- having a problem of liver and kidney then may having a drug drug interactions such as antacids are taken with the acidic drugs like digoxin or phenytoin may cause drug drug interactions then generally aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxides 
or combine the use like aqueous aluminum hydroxide antacid suspension trained pithecan or gel during shelf life and this gelling accelerate during 30 to 40 degrees celsius then the formula which is set for aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide can be prepared then the development consideration for antacids are the factors like interaction of particles interfacial properties of particle forces and surface charges also the effect of ph then how we have to evaluate the antacids for different properties like acid neutralization capacity is determine the efficiency of antacids and anc is a short is measured for overall buffering capacity against the acidification of solution and the scientific definition for antacids is that the number of mole equivalent of one normal hcl that are brought to the ph of 3.5 in 15 minute by unit dose of antacid preparation an ANC of an antacid is the amount of acid that can be neutralized. For that uh, ANC, which is depends on suspending agent, the raw material, dispersibility, particle size, crystal habit, polymorphism, and manufacturing process. How we have to determine that ANC with the help of Rosette Rice test to neutralize or to determine the total amount of neutralized acids and the rate of neutralization. Also, we have to determine onset of unit action of unit dose. For this purpose, the test condition is required 37 uh, plus or minus 3 degrees Celsius. And we have to standardization of that formulation with the help of 0.05 molar potassium thalate and potassium tetrathalate respectively. And uh, the RPM of magnetic stirrer is 300 plus or minus 30 RPM. The test we have to shake on that container and determine the density after that accurately weigh and transfer into the 250 ml of empty beaker and to make up the volume up to 70 ml then mix by agitation or magnetic stirrer for one minute. How, what is the procedure? Procedure for that uh, ANC is that 30 ml of one normal SCL is added to the prepared solution of antacid suspension with constant stirring for about 15 minutes. Then two to three drop of methyl or an indicator was added to the preparation. The excess SCL was titrated with 0.5 normal NaOH and that end point is red to yellow. Same, uh, repeat with the pH meter method, 30 ml of one normal SCL is added to 30 ml of the antacid suspension with a constant stirring for about 15 minutes. Then excel, excess of HCl was titrated with 0.5 normal NaOH. Both above procedures were repeated for six times for each sample of drug and average was taken. Then the formula which is set for the mole equivalent of acid which is consumed is equal to uh, that volume of HCl into normality of HCl minus volume of NaOH into normality of NaOH. And by this way, we have to plot the graph of uh, that values uh, to determine the ANS. Okay. Thank you, friends.